looks like you guys seem to like the other video, so uh, let's keep with this low effort meme content, you feel me? Whoop whoop! When you're a complete psycho like five minutes ago, but then you get food and you're a whole new person. Crying face, laughing emoji. Ooh. I think this is a joke, and I, I, I'm, I can giggle to it. Uh, but if I were to, you know, take it for face value and provide my deadpan delivery, um, this bitch crazy. Whoever she's dating, run! Run, boy, run! Run! I don't care if it's wrong to beat his ass. Oh. He broke my heart, and I didn't even care. He would deserve that ass whooping last night. Let a man say this. Let a dude say this. He would be tossed under the bus. He'd probably be thrown in jail. Dude, I don't know if this is true or not. This could be a meme. But for real, this is this is crappy if it's real. You're a total asshole and you deserve to go to jail. I hope he called the police. Fuck you. You suck. Somebody call 911. We need to save my mans. Hey. How's it going? Hi, not bad. Yeah, me too. So you wanna grab some dinner? Catch up? Can make it worth your while. Look, I'm sorry, but I thought I made it abundantly clear that I'm not interested in you like that. We went on one date, and I didn't feel like we really clicked. And I don't think that's going to change. So, in light of that last message, I don't really think it's a good idea for us to meet at all. Ha <laughs> ha ye arrogant, we shite. I'm no wanting to shag you or anything, haha, <laughs> do you really th oh, do you seriously think that I'd want to subject myself to the torture of trying to figure out whether you've managed to cram your tiny dick inside of me yet? No wonder you've been single for three years now, you absolutely fucking minger, oh, ooh, ooh, you're mean, oh, honey, you're just hurt, you're just hurt that he doesn't want none of you, he doesn't want anything you're given. Especially what you said, can I make it worth your while? <laughs> Disappointed. Are nice girls... I think nice girls are a little bit more cringier than nice guys. I think I've come to that conclusion. God damn. In a relationship, one person is always right and the other person is male. Fuck you. You're not in a relationship. Because <laughs> a girl who's in a relationship fucking wouldn't say this. Uh, I know that for a fact. Open and shut case here, guys. LOL, boys do no do these peas. Don't get fooled by Twitter. Wow. I do. How? Do you know? Because boys are inconsiderate. They don't have feelings. Shit. They don't have hearts. Just dicks. Oh, so you figured out how to speak English. Alright, cool. Now, that's not true. Stop spreading this toxic shit. You know, guys have feelings too. If, if you only have experienced, what, one night stands and uh, fuck buddies your entire life, maybe this would be your experience, but I'm sure that's not all girls. Um, stop spreading this. Boys have feelings too. Surprisingly enough, why do I even have to say this? It's just crazy, fam. Lol, are you dating? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Emoji. You rejected me, and you're going out with that ugly hoe? Boys are so fucking weird. Okay, first of all, you look like an ogre. So, I don't think you should call anyone ugly. You poor, poor boy. Yeah, sucks to be him. At least he got a one-up. He leveled up over you. Because clearly you're an ogre. <laughs> Rip to all those relationships that didn't work out. I want to wish you the best, but the best was me. So sucks to be you. Oh, honey, if you were the best, whoever you were dating would have left, like, wouldn't have left you. If you really were as great as you think you are, I'm pretty sure the dick would have stayed, but the dick walked. It must have found some bearable pussy. Just saying, it's just a theory. I don't know, I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong. I'm not wrong. Either you're gonna be my last love or my first murder. I'm done getting my heart broken. Try me, ho. Oh, you're scary, but it's a good meme, but I uh, hope this isn't real feelings, because, bitch, you scary. You thinking about killing somebody because somebody broke up with you? You need some professional help, honey. 
my boyfriend isn't allowed to breathe around other girls because hoes be exhaling oxygen into the air. That's basically kissing. <laughs> All right, that's that, this is funny. Uh, that, I, I don't even want to roast this one because I think it's just a meme. This I, I'm not gonna roast a joke. <laughs> this is funny. This is, that made my day. Well, I've learned the real way to get a guy. All you gotta do is fucking do drugs. No wonder I'm single. Same goes for females, dude. Since I don't go to the bar and drink and do cocaine every weekend, I'm boring. These kids just need to get their priorities straight. One, holy shit, nice guys and nice girls just met each other. This is great. I hope they make mutant babies. Two, that's not the way you think about relationships, honey. Just, just because a few of your friends might be doing, I know, Jaeger bombs and cocaine lines doesn't mean you have to, and that doesn't necessarily mean that's how they get all the dudes. Think about your personality and your traits too. If you can't find any, sucks to suck. That's a personal issue. Something that you need to work on. Men cheat with a ring on their finger and you don't think your boyfriend won't cheat just because you're in his profile picture? Baby girl, come here and let me give you a hug. Wow, this is toxic. Whoa, that's toxic. Wow, stop spreading this shit. Shut the fuck up! Just cause your boyfriend cheats on you, doesn't mean every boyfriend cheats. Just because a husband cheats, doesn't mean every husband cheats. Chill out, girl. My god. Shit got me fucked up! Some days you text him 746 times in a row. Other days, you cheat on him with his brother. It's called balance. Bitch, what? That doesn't make sense. You don't make any sense. Honey, you don't make any sense. What's wrong with you? That's not balance. That's just you being crazy. I pity the fool who actually dates you. What the fuck? You crazy. Mm, bye. Oh, you're just not gonna talk to me? I wish I was loved. I feel completely disrespected. I'm gonna go drown in my tears now. My heart will move on. Starts crying. It's okay to go and be alone my whole life. It's in shadows because of you not texting me. It's okay, I'm fine. I'm putting a new boyfriend application all on my social medias. Uh, good morning. Honey, chill out. Holy shit. Damn, nice girls are, I think, are a little bit more clingy than nice guys. Definitely, like, this is crazy. I wouldn't even text back. I would just be like, okay, I don't even want to be your boyfriend. Matter of fact, I just blocked you. <laughs> Why don't men genuinely ask men out? Because the least a man can do is ask the woman. Women are beautiful. Mostly smiling and just wonderful creatures to be around. I don't see any bias here. Most men are ugly crybabies and just need a second mom. So maybe they should put in some effort, at least in the start, because later they anyway won't do shit. Okay, um, have you dated a man before? I'm catching, uh, uh, gay vibes from this, because, for real, this doesn't even make sense nowadays, because you got third wave feminism telling girls to be like, ask the dude for his dick, make dick appointments, because being a slut is what we are about now. Fuck morals. But, you know, I, I'm just saying it. I could be totally wrong, but I, I think this person's gay because you, I don't think you like dudes. If you think most men are ugly and you think all women are beautiful, you might be just munching on some muff, you feel me? But I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. So, that's what really matters. Before you cheat on me, just know I'm all for domestic violence, disturbing the peace, and assault with deadly weapons. Do you hear yourself? Do you hear yourself? God damn it. If a dude said this, he would already be in jail for half of his life. This is ridiculous. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna be deadpan with this. How dare you say something like this before you cheat on me? You're gonna threaten somebody that you love? You fucking sociopath. You motherfucker. I took this one girl out to eat for her only to post. Just finessed a free meal. Oh. Ooh, ooh! I don't, I don't even think this is a nice girl thing. This I would actually find this on like a nice guy, like r slash nice guys. But if you let's say that she's gay or whatever, damn, damn! Let a girl do that to me. 
I, I see that's the thing though. Why would you do that? Why would you go out with someone just to cop a free meal? That's so shallow and terrible. I this is the only one I agree with. I understand your pain, honey. I understand your pain. Hey, I don't want to sound mean or anything, and you're really cool and all, but that night was kind of a one-time thing. I wasn't straightforward with you, but I'm actually sort of seeing someone at the moment. I fucked up and I feel really guilty. Okay, lol. You're lost, Lamau. You're a dick. Cool. I bet she's really pretty and cool. <laughs> Fuck yourself. Honestly. <laughs> Oh, you could just tell when she texted that she was slowly starting to tear up and cry. <laughs> it's just the transition of different feelings is there. Like, like you could tell she was going through all the mental stages of grief. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend called me a house cat. He said, you nap a lot, you disappear a few hours, and nobody knows what the fuck you do. You come back around and ask people for attention and then push people away and nap again. The accuracy though, how did your boyfriend, well, your ex-boyfriend, I wonder why, I wonder if you broke up with him, but I'm gonna go ahead and say he broke up with you, because if I don't think this was a joke to him. <laughs> I think he was saying this seriously. <laughs> like, you are almost so emotionally absent, and then you ask for emotion back like you asked for attention uh, I have dated people like that and it's it is a train wreck from start to the end from beginning to end it sucks because they want you to be completely emotionally available for them while they do absolutely nothing for you and then they get mad like the accuracy though so I guess she's a little bit you know honest with herself in the sense that she's not really that emotionally available but damn most girls are not that truthful not that honest. I had a really good time today. Can we meet up again sometimes next week? Uh, maybe cinemas or coffee? Or whatever. I don't mind. Hey, hey, yeah, I had a nice time as well, but I'm a bit busy next week, though. I got tests to practice and shit, you know? Maybe next week after? It'll be my treat. Yeah, no. Clearly, I'm not worth your time, so don't bother. Lol, not responding to me? Just because I rejected you? <laughs> Listen, honey, I have standards. You shouldn't even be considered having a chance with me. Ugly nigger. Oh. Ooh. That's a classic. Yeah, that's a classic nice guy and nice girl. Uh, this is usually just an egotistical girl who thinks they can get all the dick, and then when they try to seek dick that doesn't want to seek it, uh, they get mad, so they're like, I'm not worth your time, so I'm really cute. You should have given me a chance. <laughs> I gave you a chance. <laughs> you ugly. Nigger. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why he didn't text you back. <laughs> you showed your colors, and he's like, nah, fam. He was willing to treat you, too. Like, what is this? You lost? You probably lost your chance with a nice dude. Uh. Mm-mm-mm. Women are like bacon. We look good, smell good, and slowly kill you. Oh, wow, that's dark. That got dark. Uh, I do like bacon, and I do like girls, but I don't think girls want to kill me. Yeah, only nice girls want to kill you. Yep, same thing with nice guys and incels. Like, all three of these types of people want to kill you, and then say that they like you. Like, why would you date somebody and then admit that you want to kill them? What, are you a fucking sociopath? Like, what? I'm so mean to my man, he gotta call me every two hours to make sure we still in a relationship. Why are you dating her? Dude, run! Get out! Leave! If you have to call this woman to every two hours to make sure that you're still dating her, bruh, it's not worth it. I, I would be already gone. God forbid if she would, if a girl expects me to do that. No, I would never date somebody that clingy. I bet you didn't mean to do that either, bro. I feel for you. Send in my blessings. Pray for this man. If I throw a fit and tell you to fuck off, please don't, because it'll be over in like three minutes, okay? Hang in there, baby. No, I'm not gonna hang in there. Maybe for a month, I'll hang in there for a month and then I'm gone. What is, why would you do this to somebody that you like? Why would you yell and, and be belligerent just to start stuff? Because I bet it's not because she has bipolar disorder. I bet it's because her life is too mundane, so she has to come home all the time and start some shit just so she can have some attention or, or be, what, entertained. I forgot what that's called. 
like, but it's like you start shit on purpose because you're bored. I bet that's what she is. That's crazy. I wouldn't date that. And I bet whoever whoever is dating you, honey, is an angel. Is an angel. He can deal with you. Not many people can. Never lose sleep over someone who's sleeping with someone else. Instead, go set his house on fire. Uh, this is kind of funny, but not really, because you have the lol do it at the bottom, which means this could have been serious. So, um, damn, dude. Sorry about your house. Hope you're still alive. Guys complain about getting screwed over by girls and wanting a nice girl. Well, here we are in the shadows of the popular bitches with no hearts. Take a chance to notice us once in your life. Okay. You see, most people would take sympathy with this because it's a girl saying, hey, notice us, the popular bitches, oh my god. But let a nice guy say this. And it's creepy because most nice guys say this like, oh, you should date us because we're nice. We're not chads or whatever. We are, we've been there since day one. Why are you dating all these guys who are just terrible people? And usually girls come back and say, well, I'm sorry, Todd, but uh, this guy I'm dating has muscles and he looks nice while you take pictures with your sam <laughs> your samurai sword i could say the same thing for this post yes you may be a nice girl but what are your other traits are you pretty are you intelligent are you just not a troglodyte jesus this is a paragraph all right <clears throat> let's get going if you ever cheat on me i will find out and i will kill you but before i kill you i will tie up tie your ass up and break your damn feet and let you watch me oh then I'll chop her body up into little pieces and throw them in a blender, and then you'll keep in some kind of base, cut you, so torture you until you starve to death. And I'll find out. Oh my God! What's wrong with you? And then you have. To <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I was just asked what you were watching. What? This is self-explanatory. This is a great way to end this. Oh my God! What's wrong? You need professional help with. Oh. Oh, God. What could compel you to say that to your boyfriend? Jesus Christ. It's interesting because I'm looking at it like it wouldn't happen. But I think this is serious. I think you're actually crazy. And the thing is that nobody's called the police, probably. Let a dude say this. That's the one thing I love about r slash nice girls. They say the craziest shit. And everybody's like, okay, I'm going to just stop texting you. Let a dude say this. He'd be under the jail. He'd be investigated by five different FBI agents about how many girlfriends he's killed or something like that. Jesus, man, you need help. What, whatever your name is, Heffa. I hope that's not your name. That's an unfortunate name. You need help. Oh, y'all thought that was the last one. I found one extra one. I'm building robots, speaking at Google, managing IT systems, and building an empire, whilst your WCW is 25 plus shooting a snap in the club every weekend doing better kings. Okay. R slash, I am very smart, right here. Um, sure, yeah, you're, you're, you seem pretty intelligent and you're working at your career. Congratulations on being an adult. You win!